So many entrepreneurs seem to suffer from decision fatigue. What do we mean by decision fatigue? It's that you're making so many decisions in your life that when it comes to the ones that should be simple, your brain is fatigued and you don't seem to get them right. You just can't be bothered to think about it, to make a decision. The problem, the problem that we get is that it comes down to your health usually, to your nutrition, to your training. So you don't make the decision, you just eat crap. Food that isn't gonna push you forward. You don't train in the way you should train. You don't progress. And as a result, your health drops. So how do we stop it? The first thing we do, we make the big choices first. Same with your business. Make those big choices first that are gonna make the most impact. Plan ahead, look for your big meals so you know that breakfast, lunch and dinner are gonna be good. Then we'll worry about the little bits in between. Have a good breakfast, have a good lunch, have a good dinner. If you're going out and you're traveling, know where you're gonna get lunch from. If there's nowhere to get lunch, take lunch with you. The same with dinner. If you're gonna be going out in the evening, know where you're gonna be going. It sounds like a little bit of an issue when it comes to decision fatigue. The first thing I'm getting you to do is make a decision ahead. But this is key to succeeding here. This is key to pushing forward and increasing your health. Number two, get the decision made simple. So why even worry about what you're having for lunch? Give someone a call, get meals delivered to your house. Make sure that place is a healthy meal preparation company. Places will deliver food two, three days in advance. You can have your lunch and your dinners all there, stacked in your fridge, ready to go. You haven't even got to worry. Like Some company will be like, meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four. All you got to do is be able to count to four. I'm certain you can do that, right? Three, only have certain foods in the house or office. That means you're not going to go and pick out, pig out without even realizing. However, I will say that there was a time when this used to fuck me over a lot because being an adult, yep, I am an adult, believe it or not, I used to steal, if I didn't have the food in my house, I would be like, fuck it. I'm going to go to the shop and I'm going to get the food that I want to binge out on. But that's another story for a day when we talk about my eating disorders in the past and how I actually got over them to make sure that I'm successful in the business I'm at and also I make my clients successful as well. Four, minimalism doesn't just have to be your clothes. So we see some of the biggest entrepreneurs, most successful business guys around, they have say seven black t-shirts, they have seven black trouser sets, shorts, three or four pairs of trainers, and they just repeat and eat, wear the same things over and over again. You can do this with your food. If you want to work like a machine, which not a lot of people do, my I add, if you want to work like a machine and you can say, I'm gonna eat this today, that today, that today, and I'm gonna eat the same thing tomorrow, day after, day after. You can eat the same thing. Get repetitive, get a habit, and that's fine. Minimalize your nutrition. I will say that this probably doesn't work very well if you're in a relationship, so please bear that in mind. Five, Dan Kennedy's a big one on this with business, but with your nutrition, good enough is good enough. 80% compliance to a very good plan will get you results. Yeah, there's some times when we wanna go 100%, there's some times where we wanna go all out, hustle and grind, but 80% is gonna get you results. So live a little, that 20%, chill the fuck out and enjoy. The sixth one is the biggest one here. Have somebody make the decisions for you. I believe every coach should have a coach. You don't go to a doctor that doesn't believe in having a doctor. I've got two coaches myself. It helps me progress. It helps me stop with decision fatigue. It helps me say, this person, make me accountable, make me do this. This person, make me accountable, make me do that. It comes together and I progress. I may not be the coach for every single person out there. I can't coach every single person out there. 
But what I'm prepared to do is if you give me a shout, I will actually give you your free revitalization call and we can see if we're a fit. Because I won't necessarily be the one that wants to work with you. In all honesty, we need to make sure you're coachable. We need to make sure you agree with my methods as well. So if you want to get decision fatigue completely out the window, give me a shout and let's get you revitalized. Honestly.